Imagine for a moment taking a road trip from Cairo to Riyadh and crossing the Red Sea in just minutes. Saudi Arabia and Egypt are now planning a groundbreaking project, a fixed crossing, either a bridge or a tunnel, over the Strait of Tehran, which is the narrowest point separating the two nations. At its narrowest, the Strait of Tehran spans roughly 6.4 kilometers, or about 4 miles. While this distance is way shorter than bridges like China's 164-kilometer Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, the Red Sea crossing comes with its own unique challenges. These include deep water construction, complex coral reef ecosystems, and existing maritime traffic lanes. Recent reports confirm that detailed planning is complete, and construction could begin at any time. Egypt's transport minister, Kamal al-Wazir, stated that both governments are prepared to move forward, whether with a bridge or a tunnel. The estimated cost stands at around $4 billion, fully funded by Saudi Arabia. Beyond just connecting the two countries, the structure aligns with Saudi Vision 2030, supporting tourism, trade, and the futuristic Neom Mega City project. Far more than just a tourist link, the crossing will actually integrate into Egypt's expanding cargo rail network. Trains could run directly from the Sinai Peninsula into Saudi Arabia, streamlining trade routes and, you know, alleviating maritime congestion. Some refer to it as the Moses Bridge because of its biblical symbolism, but honestly, this is an engineering marvel with a real strategic regional impact. It's expected to serve over 1 million travelers every year, including pilgrims heading to Mecca, Sinai tourists, and any onbound visitors. Nevertheless, serious concerns remain. The Strait of Tehran hosts rich coral reefs and marine life, prompting environmentalists to warn of risks from construction, especially if infrastructure damages reef habitats, and enforce, you know, rigorous environmental safeguards. Furthermore, engineering over open sea and coral islands demands complex solutions. Some proposals suggest hybrid designs, incorporating tunnels beneath shipping lanes with bridges over shallower sections, to protect marine ecosystems while, uh, facilitating maritime traffic. The project's timeline is ambitious. Once political decisions are in place, construction could begin quickly, taking 8 to 10 years to complete. For Saudi Arabia, this bridge is a critical piece of Vision 2030, anticipated to diversify the economy by expanding logistics, tourism, and trade, positioning the kingdom as a global transport hub. In essence, the Red Sea crossing is more than engineering. It's a symbol of continental connection. For Saudi Arabia and Egypt, this could mean a new era of integration between Asia and Africa, reflecting diplomacy, innovation, and ambition. Time will tell, but if realized, this bridge or tunnel will, honestly, redefine regional connectivity and reshape the geopolitical landscape.